Antarctica ice shelf on verge of collapse. A very large ice shelf hanging on by a thin strip looks to be the next chunk to break off from the Antarctic Peninsula. The latest sign of global warming's impact on Earth's southernmost continent. This latest sign of global warming's impact has shocked scientists. They are very shocked by the rapid change of events. In other words, global warming climate change can happen very rapidly. Yes. Actually, over a matter of a few years. Glaci glaciologist Ted Scampos of the University of Colorado was monitoring satellite images of the Wilkins Ice Shelf and spotted a huge iceberg measure measuring 25 miles by 1.5 miles that now appears to have broken away from the shelf. Scambos alerted other researchers at the British Antarctic Survey BAS that it looked like the entire ice shelf approximately 6,180 square miles about the size of Northern Ireland was at risk of collapsing. David Vaughan of the BAS British Antarctic Survey had predicted in 1993 that the northern part of the Wilkins Ice Shelf was likely to be lost. Wilkins is the largest ice shelf on the Antarctic Peninsula yet to be threatened. He said, but he didn't expect to see things happen this quickly. The ice shelf is hanging by a thread. We'll know pretty soon what's going to happen to it. Aircraft reconnaissance. The BAS scientists sent an aircraft out on a reconnaissance mission to survey the extent of damage to the ice shelf. Jim Elliott, who captured video of the breakout, said, I've never ever seen anything like this before. It was awesome on a huge scale. We flew along the main crack and observed the sheer scale of movement from the breakage. Big, hefty chunks of ice the size of small houses look as though they've been thrown around like rubble. It's like a huge explosion. An initial iceberg calved away from the Wilkins ice shelf and a series of images shows the edge of the ice shelf proceeding to crumble and disintegrate in a pattern characteristic of climate caused ice shelf retreats throughout the northern Antarctic Peninsula. The disintegration left a sky blue patch of hundreds of large blocks of exposed old glacier ice floating across the Asian ocean surface. By March 8th, the ice shelf had lost just over 160 square miles of ice and the disintegrated ice had spread over 540 square miles. And as of mid-March, only a narrow strip of shelf ice was left protecting several thousand more kilometers of the ice shelf from potentially breaking up. The region where the Wilkins ice shelf lies has experienced unprecedented warming in the past 50 years, with several ice shelves retreating in the past 30 years. And six of these ice shelves have, complete, have collapsed completely. Antarctic warming. The Wilkins ice shelf was stable for most of the last century until it began retreating in the 1990s. A previous major breakout occurred there in 1998 when 390 square miles of ice 
was lost in just a few months. We believe the Wilkins Ice Sheet has been in place for at least a few hundred years, if not thousands of years. But warm air and exposure to ocean waves are causing it to break up rapidly. The Antarctic Peninsula has warmed much faster than anywhere else in the southern hemisphere. Temperature records show that the region has warmed by at least 4.5 degrees Fahrenheit during the past 50 years, several times the global average and only matched in Alaska. Other parts of Antarctica, including the East Antarctic Ice Sheet, seem to be a little more stable, although areas of melt have been observed in recent years. Perhaps it's starting to speed up too. Melting in the Antarctic is different than the recent record melt in the Arctic. Antarctica is composed of ice sheets, or huge masses of ice, which can be up to 2.5 miles thick that lie on top of bedrock and flow toward the coast and ice shelves. The floating extensions of ice sheets. Arctic ice is primarily sea ice, some of which persists year-round and some which melts in the summer and freezes again in the winter. Anyway, this, the ice at the poles, is melting faster and faster. It's accelerating much faster than any computer model has shown. It's all part of a pattern. More signs, end times, last days, whatever have you call it, and there are many.